Good morning everybody, welcome to Mortal Gaming, this is me again, Marvin, and we're now here for another video for Ragnarok Origin. And this hour we're going to be talking about the best purple card farm spots that I could recommend to you guys. But please, first of all, take note that there are other possible spots, but these are all the best spots that I know. Since most of you would be now focusing on the purple card grinding particularly if you have a times three card drop on your uh, server or t even times two it will be really helpful well let's start with the most important one in my opinion the skull worker card okay so for the skull worker of course you need to go to the mjolnir abandoned mine and we have five spots here as you can see on the screen all right the three spots are on the top view and on the left side of the top view um that would be together with a g earth okay so if you want to uh if you want to you know hit two birds in one stone then that's the spot to be there is an instant uh respawn time of the skull worker there and a couple of g, g earths all right so uh, for the others, there will be two spots on this side, okay, on the uh, on the lower side, there are two spots, so that's six skill workers, but they're kind of very far from each other, alright? So next would be the Minorus, okay, Minorus are good for, a Minorus card is good, very good for MVP, uh, TSA, and different kinds of dungeons, I could offer you one. Uh, spot this has six respawn on the minorus i think six yes two spots with three minorus uh, respawns on it and it is on this one so i um, usually farm there and hopefully you get a spot all right so next would be hydra for the hydra of course it will be on the um shipwreck labyrinth it's not gonna be on the undersea tunnel but we'll talk about that later on the shipwreck labyrinth the spawn of the hydra is instant it's very fast so you don't have any problem with it all you have to do is a pick a spot wherein two hydras are very near with each other and uh the ones that i highlight highlighted on this uh, map are the ones that i could recommend to you wherein there are very close hydra two hydras that are respawning okay next would be um Thara Frog. So both Hydra, Skull Worker, and Thara Frog are all very important on PvP, particularly on the early to mid game. So on Thara Frog, I could offer only one spot. It is on this one. It has a respawn of a Hydra, and at the same time, two spots that are very near with each other that spawn Thara Frog. All right. Next would be the G Earth. I've already told you about it. It's on the same map as the Skell Worker. It's on the Mule near Abandoned Mine. So G Earth is very important here because there are lots of things that could uh, give you fear in this game, such as on the Juperos Ruins runs, the Dark Lord MVP, and even on PvP. All right. Next would be Pasana. Pasana and Marduk. So if you're gonna farm for Pasana, I'd rather, uh, you know, reach out for also Marduk, alright? But if you're only gonna go for Pasana, there's a very near spot for the Pasana. It's It has like around 6 Pasana. That, that's 2 spots wherein there are 3 spawning uh, Pasana. And for if you want to farm Pasana and Marduk, I have also highlighted that one here, alright? Next would be the Mark. Okay, so this one is the one that we're in. We always say that all of the riches are in the undersea tunnel. And until right until now, on the Ragnarok Origins, it is true. Okay, the spots highlighted here has multiple item, multiple monsters that drop purple card, particularly Mark, Fen and um swordfish so you can uh, go to this spots and you could enjoy either fen and mark or mark and um swordfish so in that way you are hitting two to three birds in one stone okay 
Next would be Deverucci. So Deverucci will be on the Geffen Underground. So it was quite hard for me before when I was farming for Deverucci since uh, most of the the spots on Deverucci only spawns three Deverucci each. So there is just one spot here highlighted wherein you could get four. I think four Deverucci. One uh, spawning every now and then and then another spot very near to it that spawns three Deverucci. Okay, so Deverucci is very important on... Uh, you know, on PvP, particularly on Endgame. Now, next would be Raidric. We have four spots on the Raidric, and it's on around 6 o'clock of the map of Glastheim Castle, second floor. So, the top most, uh, the top most recommended here has uh, eight, up to eight or nine uh, spawns of Raidric. So, a lot of people are getting that spot. Or um, trying to save the uh, save or wait for their time on that spot because it's really ideal for farming on Raidric card. But if you don't have the time, you could go for the other three spots that I have below it, okay? Which spawns three to four Raidric uh, monsters, okay? So next would be the Alice. Alice is very important. Alice card is very important for uh you know fighting bosses so maybe on mid game or on early game you won't need the alice card but on the late game and an end game uh, you would always need it on temple of nightmare on freya mirage so it's very useful okay so uh, we have four spots here each has three to four spawning um alice so they're quite far from each other so if you are a melee character it will be kind of hard for you to farm on this but if you are a warlock a wizard or an, any ranged job class it will be easier okay next would be the alarm alarm is really important uh, on your uh, on your shoes because it gives you hp vitality and at the same time a pushback on the melee attackers okay so it will it is located on clock tower second floor and we have three spots although we have a ton of spots here for alarm i could give you the three best spots near uh, one o'clock so near the portal for the night nightmare clock tower okay so next would be now focusing on your card decks so for your card decks so let's start with the major brutality cards that you need to you know complete first is the archer scale and the soldier scale as you can see right now it is on pyramid second floor and you have two spots here recommended spots wherein you could kill both archer skeletons and soldier skeletons so it's just like again hitting two birds in one stone the next one is on strawfo again it is on undersea tunnel but this time it's on the fourth floor okay so that would be but this time it is on fourth floor this one but i would recommend for you to uh, either go for any of these spots next would be the garm baby there are to tons of spots for the garm baby but i could give you two recommended spots wherein it is on the top of the map all right and the last one is on cruiser so cruiser is kind of just like the deveruche it i can only give you and recommend one spot wherein you could uh you know target two spots uh, of cruisers but they're kind of far from each other so if you are not yet a third job i don't think you would be it would be easy for you to farm on this spot but uh, I would also give you other spots on this. Any uh, Anywhere on this map, you could always see a spot of Cruiser wherein it spawns three of those monsters. So you couldn't get any more on that, okay? That's why among the cards of the Major Brutality, that is kind of the hardest, okay? Let's now go to the Major Prophecy. Major Prophecy is very good for, of course, the counterpart of Major Brutality. Major Brutality is for the physical damagers. The Major Prophecy is for the magic users. Okay, let's now first go to the um, Nightmare. Okay, Nightmare. 
So we have a ton of spots for the nightmare. We have four spots here. The first one is on the 12 o'clock of the map. The next one is on the 6 o'clock. And the last two are on the around 7 to 8 o'clock. All right. Next, let's go to Pion Cave, wherein we will be now focusing on Nine Tails card. So we have only one recommended spot for Nine Tails since this is the best spot. I I could uh, remember that I could I I had the easiest time of my life in farming a card on the Nine Tails because they spawn a lot of places here, so it's easy for you to kill them. All right. Next would be Fen. I've already uh, I've already shown you where to get Fen, but. Just to add, on the Undersea Tunnel 3F, we have the 1 o'clock spot. This time, it is pure fan monster. So we have two spots wherein uh, they are both spawning 3 fan. So if you want to only farm for fan card, that's the, uh, that's the best way to go. So let's now go to the Nature card deck. So the Nature is the card deck that focuses on... Um, you know, on counter element resistance. Okay, so let's first talk about Dokebi. Again, we will go back to the Pion Cave third floor. And we have two spots here. The first one is on the top most, uh, the upper part. Um, this one doesn't have that much Dokebi, but it has a Hydra together with that spot. So if you want to, you know, farm a Hydra together with Dokebi, that's a spot for you. But if you want to farm only Dokebi and probably, you know, maybe, maybe farm also the Ninetales card, then the lower part is the best for you. Okay, number two is the Sandman card. The Sandman card is easy. We can only give you one spot here. It's on the mid part of the map, Southern Sograt. Then... Next would be the Argyop. For Argyop, we have two spots here, each spawning four to six, um, six uh, Argyops. So that's it. And for the Swordfish and Pasana, we've already talked about it a while ago. All right. So I think that's it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you haven't liked this video, please do leave a like. Share this to your friends and click that bell notification button to so get notified every time I upload a new video. Start a new stream or a new content. That's it. See you again in the next video. Bye-bye.